Hello and welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we will be looking at the mod Friends and Foes. It is currently on 1.18.2 and I am not sure about the status for 1.19. It is for it is for Forge and even if it is on 1.19 I wouldn't recommend using it on 1.19 yet. Just because Forge 1.19 is still on beta. Alright, so let's get into the mod, shall we? So, Friends and Foes is a mod that adds multiple mobs that were never added into the game because they were outvoted by another mob. So, Mob Vote 2017 or Mob Vote 2020 or Mob Vote 2021. So, yeah, we, got, we have quite a few mobs to look at. This mod is kind of similar to uh, the mod we looked at a while ago, uh, Outvoted, where it added all the mobs from the mob row 2017 that didn't get added and got beat by the phantom but this one kind of adds like a plethora of them and we'll start off with probably the most beloved one the one that everyone wishes won the 2021 mob vote the copper golem this little fellow right here is just adorable i really i really just love how he looks and i love how like the lightning rod on, on top of him just like kind of wobbles up and down sometimes. I don't know, it's really cute. And if you want to know how to spawn it, then these are what you're going to need. A block of copper, a carved pumpkin, and a lightning rod right on top of it. And boom, you have yourself a copper golem. But something about it is that if you were to spawn it with a different type of copper, it's gonna look more like that top of copper. But the, these guys are fine. But uh, not this one. He's kind of frozen. I think. Yeah, you can fix it. So now they're all. Now they're all good to go. And I'm pretty sure you can wax them with a honeycomb. Watch this. Yup. Now you guys are good. Forever. So yeah, those I think that's a kind of a really cool addition. Now you're wondering, what can they do? Well, they do something. They press copper buttons. Yeah, these. The mod added a new block called the copper button because, in the original, that's what they're supposed to do. Yes, it's a button. Oh <gasps> yes, he's excited. Press it. Keep pressing it. Keep pressing the button. Come on, man. This is your job. I'll be right back. Once they wait, wait, wait. Oh, you might do it. You might do it. Oh, oh, he might do it. And and yeah, yeah. He did it. He did it. Good job, guys. You guys are just. I'm so proud. Anyways, all right, we're done. We're done with the copper golem. That's really all the copper bo golem really has. And of course, with the copper button, it does oxidize over time. So, yeah. Alright, next up we have the mauler. So, this is like the... This is from the mob vote 2017. And once you see it, you'll know what it is. Yep, it's this guy. Except I don't think he really has a use... Other than, like, if you attack it first, it'll start chomping. They oh my god, okay. Yeah, I tried to, like, I don't know, drop food for it or whatever, but it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything. I think it's just a neutral mob. I It might have more use in the future, but I don't know. So, yeah, that's really, that's really all it is for the mauler. Now, anyways... We have the Isologer and the Illusioner. Now, the Illusioner is actually in the game, but it doesn't have a spawn egg, and it can't actually naturally spawn in the world. The only way to do it is a slash summon Illusioner. But, they not only did they give it a redesign, but they also gave it a spawn egg, and I'm pretty sure it can spawn naturally in the world now. Uh -huh. And this is him. Uh -huh. Now, I'm gonna gear myself up, 
because this guy is kind of hard. So let's go. Oh, he's spawning the full of them. And yeah, he's not too. He's not really that hard to beat. Wait, I'll do. I'll do one more. Oh no. Okay. Is this you? Nope. Is this one you? Yes, that was you. Yes, that, that was you. Yeah. Loser. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that is the illusioner. It doesn't really do it. It doesn't really have anything special. It doesn't like drop anything other than arrows and emeralds. So yeah, the next one is the Isolager, which was part of the mob vote 2020, but got outvoted by the Glow Squid. It was the second most popular one. Huh. Boom! Oh, he's a captain. Yep, he will spawn ice blocks over you and give you the freezing effect. And you do not want to let that thing hit you, because it will do a lot of damage. No! Come here! There we go. Alright. I just got him. Yeah. Other than the fact that he's a cool mob to, to defeat, he doesn't drop anything unique other than blue ice. Which I know is something you guys are very excited about. Who knows? Maybe there's a way to mob blue mo farm blue eyes, but I don't see why you would do that, and I don't think it's po I don't think it's possible actually. So yeah, that does it with um oh that does it with the illagers. Now we're gonna go on to mobs I literally can't find any use of. Starting with the glare, which was in the mob 2021 vote. This guy right here, he's pretty cute. According to his description in the 2021 mob vote, he's supposed to tell you like where mobs can spawn. But I guess that kind of became more useless in 1.18, where mobs could only spawn at literally zero light. So, yeah, he doesn't really have a use other, other than being really cute. So, he'll just like fly, a lap, fly around and really do nothing. So, we're gonna go on to the next mob. The Moo Bloom. <laughs> the Moo Bloom <laughs> was the least voted mob in 2020. Its goal was to spawn in the flower forest, and I guess it attracts bees. Yeah. With this, uh, with this mod, they added the Buttercup, which I'm pretty sure is in Minecraft Earth, and it added a bunch of beehives, just all of them based off of like a certain texture. Also, I want to get back into creative mode. Yeah, I think that's pr I think that's pretty cool since it is a since it is a type of wood, and it's nice to be able to actually have, you know, other types of wood. So, and then we have the buttercup, which can't spawn on stone. Yeah, it's just this type of flower. I think it just it's just kind of there, just there. <laughs> But then we have the actual Moo Bloom. It does look really cute, but I'm not even sure it does anything. Like, it's just kind of there. I even tried to, like, put bees next to it, and not even the bees would do anything. So, yeah, I think it's just, like, a, a passive ambient mob that doesn't do anything. But it does look really cute. Anyways, that is the end of the mod showcase. I really hope you enjoyed I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you go check out this mod in the description. It's a really cool mod and I'm and I'm sure it'll have more updates in the future. Really cool updates. Like maybe adding more output of mobs and giving more of them more uses. So I hope you have a good day and good day. Good day or good night or good morning, whatever. It's morning for me.